Hey guys, welcome to Speak About Digital. In this video, I'm going to guide you on how you can easily use JotForm. I'm going to cover a very quick basic tutorial to get you going and understand how JotForm works. So if you have no idea about JotForm and how to get started, then this video is for you. JotForm is an easy to use online form builder that allows you to create and customize forms for various purposes such as registrations, surveys, orders, and more. In this tutorial, I will guide you step by step on how to use JotForm. Just before we start, please consider giving me a thumbs up, otherwise I will go ahead and jump right into the JotForm tutorial. The first thing that you want to do is, if you didn't create your account yet, you will have a link down below in the description. It's very easy to create an account. And if you already have an account, just skip this step and let's sign in. So here we are in my JotForm account. First, I'll show you what you can actually find in JotForm, and then I'll show you how we can use JotForm. So, after logging into your JotForm account, you will be taken to the dashboard. On the top left corner, we have My Forms. It is a drop-down menu that takes us to different parts of JotForm. Once we click on it, we have My Forms, My Tables, My Reports, My Approvals, My Apps, and My Sign Documents. This makes it easy to navigate and find what you're looking for. Moving on to the center of the dashboard, we have a list of forms available. When you hover over each form, options appear, such as editing the form, viewing the inbox, and more. By clicking on a form, you get even more options at the top. You can view submissions, reports, and apps, move it to another folder, archive it, mark it as read, enable or disable it, or even move it to trash. To help with organization, there's a filter section where you can sort your forms alphabetically or by creation date, edit submission count, and more. There's also a search bar to quickly find a specific form. On the left side, there's an orange button that says Create a Form. This is where you start when creating a new form. Below that, you can view all forms and create folders to better organize them. You can also view Shared with Me forms, Assigned forms, My drafts, Favorite forms, Archive forms, and Trash forms. The Favorite forms feature allows you to star a form to quickly access it later. The Archive and Trash forms features allow you to remove a form from your view without deleting it permanently. JotForm keeps your forms for 30 days in case you accidentally delete something important. Lastly, on the top right corner, you can view your profile and access your settings. This is where you can update your username, time settings, and more. Building your first form. Creating a form in JotForm is a straightforward process. To create a form, simply click on Create Form button located at the top left corner of the dashboard. This will take you to another window where you will have four options to create your form. The first option is to start from scratch, which allows you to create your own form from the ground up. The second option is to use a template, where you can select from a range of pre-designed form templates. The third option is to import your existing forms into JotForm. Finally, you can create a signable document using the fourth option. Creating a form from scratch on JotForm is a simple process. First, click on the Create Form button and choose the Start from Scratch option. You will then be asked to select the layout for your form, either Classic Form or Card Form. Once you make your selection, you will be taken to the Form Builder page. Here you can begin building your form by adding a logo and typing in the heading and subheading. To add elements to your form, go to the Add Form Element button on the left hand side of the screen. This will open three tabs, Basic, Payments, and Widgets. 
The Basic tab includes elements like headings, full name, email, and address. The Payments tab includes payment methods like Square, PayPal, and Stripe. The Widgets tab includes elements like form calculation, signature, and terms and conditions. It is easy to add fields to your form with this drag and drop interface. Then you can name them as you prefer. There is no limit on the form length. You can add any number of form elements, widgets, or conditions to your form. But please take note that although there are no limits on the number of elements that can be added to your form, web browsers do have limitations. Adding an excess of a couple of hundred fields will likely decrease your browser performance. You can add more elements on one page if you want. You can also create new pages and segment your content. You can do so by clicking the Add New Page here found at the bottom of the form. One of the most important benefits of using page breaks is that they shorten your forms dramatically. JotForm allows you to share forms so that coworkers or others within your organization can collaborate and help manage your form data so that you can view and edit forms with members of your team. First, click the Add Collaborators button at the top right of the form builder. Next, click Copy link and share it with others. Collaborators and guests without a JotForm account will be able to access and edit your form, even if you're both on the form builder at the same time. Changes save automatically so you'll be working on up-to-date form data in real time. Again, all changes made by everyone will be saved automatically, so communication will be a key factor when building and editing forms with team members. Their respective avatars would show up at the top right. If the person who got the collaboration link doesn't have a JotForm account, they will appear as guests. On top of that, fields highlighted by someone else will be marked by their respective avatars too. This will make it easier, visually, to know who's working on what in real time. Now, if you want to customize the design of your form, click on the Form Designer button on the right-hand side of the screen, the paint roller icon. Here you can customize the colors, styles, themes, and layout of your form. For example, you can change the theme of your form by choosing one of these themes and clicking on Use Theme button. Thus, you have changed the theme. Once you have created and designed your form, go to the Settings tab to customize the status and properties of your form. You can change the title and status of your form, add email where you'll receive an email when someone fills out your form, conditions, and thank you page. So here you can customize your thank you page as you like. You can change everything here. But if you don't need this thank you page, you can just choose to redirect to an external link after submission. And you can also integrate your form with other apps, for example with Google Sheets or Google Drive. Finally, click on the Publish tab to prepare your form for publication. Before publishing, preview your form by clicking on the Preview Form button under your profile. You can view your form in mobile, tablet, and desktop view. With these simple steps, you can create a customized form from scratch on JotForm. JotForm also provides a quick and easy option to create a form using pre-designed templates. To use a template, simply click on the Use Template button on the JotForm homepage. This will take you to the Template Gallery, where you can browse through various templates based on industry, profession, and type. Additionally, you can also search for a specific template using the search bar or filter templates by layout types, such as Classic or Card. Once you find the desired template, click on the Use Template button and it will take you to the Form Builder page. Here, you can edit the template to suit your requirements by adding elements to the form, customizing its design, and setting properties like form status. You can also preview the form before publishing to ensure it looks exactly how you want it to. 
Using JotForm templates can save you time and effort in creating a form. To import a form to JotForm, you have three options. Firstly, if you want to import a form from a web page, click on From a Web Page and enter the URL of the page. Secondly, you can clone your existing form by clicking on Clone your existing form and selecting the form from the drop down menu, then hit the Create Form button. Lastly, if you have a form in PDF format on your computer, simply click on the Import PDF button and upload your PDF form to convert it into an online form. Each of these options will take you to another window where you can complete the import process. Once you have imported your form, you can further customize it by adding elements, changing the design, and setting properties on the Form Builder page. And to create a signable document in JotForm, I think I'll make a video about this. Maybe enough for this tutorial. And there you have it, a beginner's guide to using JotForm. There's more to learn about JotForm, so if you're interested in an advanced tutorial, let me know in the comments and I'll be happy to make it happen whenever I get a chance. You can check the links in the description, that helps a lot, thank you! So again, if you found this video helpful, please give me a thumbs up, and if you have any questions at all, please comment below. I try to answer all the comments the best I can. Thanks for watching and take care!